Hey yo, what's going on everybody, it's Tylerius aka Ty Killington. yeah man, alright today's video will be discussing how much the Los Santos Summer Special DLC is going to cost, best ways to make money until then, and a few other things as well, alright, but before we get started, again I just want to say man, guys, thank you so much for all the support you've been showing me in my, in my videos, my live broadcasts, I mean it's crazy, new members, all that good stuff, I really, really do appreciate that. If you guys enjoyed the video, you've been enjoying my content, by all means, you can subscribe, you know, turn on notifications. If you want to become a new member, absolutely just check out the link in the description down below. And let me be very clear, man, just showing up is enough. I mean, that, that is very humbling in itself. Uh, you know, I know times are tough right now, but any support you guys, you know, show me is just, it's very, very appreciated. And I really, really do thank you so much for that, guys. Seriously, all right? Sort of make sure you guys know that, okay? Uh yeah, all right, let's get into the video. Thank you so much, right? So, let's talk about a few things first, right? Before we get into how much the DLC is going to cost, let's talk about how you need to be making your money and the best ways to make money for the... We only have a couple of days left until the DLC comes out, all right? So, right now, the best way for you to be making money is to not spend any money, okay? Yes, save your money. Do not spend any money. Now, I've had a lot of people ask me, like, Ty, should I go ahead and buy a yacht? And honestly, do not buy a yacht. Don't buy a yacht yet because they may go on sale because the yachts are part of this DLC. You'll be able to do missions from them. So it is it is very possible Rockstar will put the yachts on sale. So don't buy anything yet, okay? You could have an opportunity to save millions of dollars. So hold off on buying the yacht. Hold off on buying anything right now, okay? Focus on whatever businesses you currently have. Now is not the time to invest in a new business and get that going because you'll dump millions of dollars into it and it's going to take you a long time to get that going. So instead of doing that, just focus on what you already have, okay? And well, let's talk about that. So let's be clear. The best way to make money, no matter what, right now in the game is doing casino heists. What you should be doing is when you log on, all right, coordinate with at least one friend because you'll need that, buy your supplies for your bunker, you need to be focusing on bunker this week, not MC, okay, especially if you just have one or two other people, um, or if you're going to be solo. Now, you can you can still do MC if you got some friends, that's the better way to go about it, but if you're mainly solo, uh, focus with your bunker and your nightclub, okay? Do your setups or your prep work by yourself, or if you have that one other friend, you guys can help each other, that's fine. And while your passive income, i.e. your bunker, your MC, uh, your nightclub is cooking, you'll be doing your casino heists, okay? You need to be doing the big con, group six variant of that heist, and silent and sneaky back to back, going back and forth with those, right? So knock out your preps and your setup work. Your buddy knocks out his prep and setup work, and you guys meet up, and you run your heists back to back. And then you go do your setups and your prep work again. Now, if you got more people to help you out, three or four, that's fine, okay? Uh, it is more efficient and just easier time-to-money ratio just for you and one other person to just knock these out and get them done. But again, you can still make a tremendous amount of money either way. You want to focus on artwork. That's going to be your best bet. Now, I know you can pay $25,000 and reset your target by canceling your heist. Okay. I know, you know, I don't like to do that. I don't think that you should be getting gold and artwork every time. Those should be the exception, right? That should be the, that's kind of the fun part of it. Um, and listen, I've proven time and time again, you can still make a lot of money with cash and yes, you can get shot up and lose a lot of money too. Um, so I just tend to typically just, you know, whatever I get, I just, I just run with it and go. However, I understand circumstances are a little bit different with this DLC coming out. So if you choose to go that route, I'm not going to be mad at you. But, uh, you know, I, I just don't do that, okay? So that's fine, though. Whatever you want to do, just make it as, as legit as you possibly can, okay? So that's what you should be doing. Now, say you do not have a friend to help out with Casino Heist. Say you just, you know, you're a solo grinder and you have your businesses. You need to be focusing on, of course, your passive income, like your, your bunker. The bunker is the best way to go for passive income, especially for a solo player. Your nightclub and CEO crates. Crates will be the active income you want to focus on. Crates are much more, uh, they're much easier to accumulate, to get, and to sell. You can sell full warehouse all by yourself, all right? Now, I know a lot of people like import-export. Import-export is great. You can make up to $240,000 per hour on the business, and then during the cooldown time, you can mix in things like VIP work and client job. That's fine. Remember, though, 
to get that $240,000 per hour, you have to be absolutely perfect. That means your car cannot take any damage. And let's be honest, you have to source those vehicles inside that 20-minute cooldown time. And those source missions sometimes can be a pain in the butt. And you can lose a lot of money on the cars. That's why it is, I mean, I've already proven this before, CEO crates are more effective and efficient. But again, do whatever you feel comfortable with because you need to hit this grind and hit this grind hard before this DLC comes out. All right, so if you want to run import export, that's fine. Nothing wrong with that at all. CEO crates will get you up there too. Um, again, what you want to do with CEO crates, you want to have two warehouses, right? Run them back and forth. That way you negate the cooldown timer. If you only have one CEO warehouse, that's fine. Run a VIP work, or some VIP, you know, headhunter or sightseer to negate your cooldown timer with your, your CEO crates. Plus that pays for the crates when you do that. All right. So those are going to be your methods that you guys need to focus on. Okay. Um, again, whatever you feel comfortable with, do that. Okay. But that's what is, you know, my recommendations will be the most effective and efficient and the top ways to make money. Now, uh, you know, you can, I never recommend this because you you will be losing money. It's a net loss. You can sell vehicles that you don't use anymore. I just don't recommend that. And you honestly won't need to if you just follow the, my methods and what I got going on here. Uh, so, you know, but again, if you have to do that, that's fine. I just don't recommend that because you're losing a vehicle and you're losing money overall. Okay. So, but if you have to have an influx of cash, that is a possibility. So now that we know how to make the money in the best way, you know, save your money, don't spend anything. Casino heist is the best way to go with at least one other person. If not that, run CEO crates with your passive income, your bunker, your nightclub. But again, do whatever you feel comfortable with. Import, export, MC businesses, all that stuff, okay? Mix it all up if you need to. Uh, and remember, if you don't have uh, any businesses, say you're brand new to the game, all you need is $50,000 in your account and you can run VIP where you can become a VIP and you can run headhunter and sightseer missions. Uh, you'll have a cooldown timer, but you'll make a lot of money with those as well. Okay, so keep that in mind. You can still make good money as a complete noob and beginner in the game. Now that we know some of the ways to make money, let's talk about how much this DLC is going to cost. So if we base this off, you know, just traditional trends of what Rockstar has done in the past, it's kind of simple and easy to understand what they'll be doing with this. Now, we know there's going to be over a dozen vehicles, but those vehicles will not be, not all of them will show up on day one. I guesstimate between three and five vehicles day one okay let's let's take some of the most expensive stuff for example say they drop the open wheel uh indy car right we know from previous open wheel race cars they're about three million dollars so this one will be probably between three and four million dollars okay if they do not put the yacht on sale and you have to buy the yacht you're looking at between what six and ten million dollars all modded out and everything right so you're in that range right there but again, I, I do think if they do this, they'll put the yacht on. So maybe not that week, maybe the week after. Okay. So day one to get started and to get going, you'll need anywhere between five and 10 million to get going. Okay. For this whole DLC all the way through, you know, remember it's drip fed. So you don't have to pay this all up front. You'll have time to make your money back and, you know, cause we'll have several months of drip fed content until that big winter DLC with the map expansion, but everything all together. With this particular DLC, we'll probably run between 20 and 30 million. Okay, everything, all the clothes, all the cars, the cars will average about 1.5 million. Some will be less than that, some will be more. So in that range is traditionally what they usually cost. And that's really the gist of this, all right? So in summary, in conclusion, let's talk about, you know, let's just recap real quick. So right now, the best way to make money is to not spend any money. So save your money, don't buy anything, don't spend anything, just focus on the businesses that you have. The overall best method to make money overall and for right now to get this DLC, to get the money you need, make sure you integrate your passive income, whether it's your bunker, your nightclub, MC businesses, and you need to have a friend to help out and do casino heists. All right? You just need one other person. Focus on getting those heists done. Do, uh, do your silent and sneaky and your big con group six. You know, Run those back to back. You'll be doing them on hard mode, so you get an extra 10% bonus on that as well. Focus on those. If you don't have that opportunity, if you don't have that one person, you're, you're purely solo, focus on running an active business and combine it with your passive income. So focus on doing either crates or import-export. Mix that up with your passive income being your bunker. Uh, you know, Just buy one round of supplies and then once it's cooked, sell it. 
and mix it up with your nightclub and your MC businesses if you can do that as well. All right. If you don't have any businesses, again, do you know races, do death matches, do contact missions. You'll make a lot of money doing these things. All you need is 50 grand in your account, and you'll be able to sign up as a VIP and do VIP work, which is really easy. Headhunter and Sightseer are the two of the best missions. All right. If you guys have any questions at all, leave them in the comments down below. Help each other out in the comments. All right. I'll do my best to you know answer anything that I can and, and help you guys out with that. And again, thank you so much for coming out of the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for the Ills and Reels content in the game. Smash, I mean, smash that like button. And we'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out. Yeah.